guys, this is Monica with the Roman Plans and today I am here to set up my October meal plan. So I'm actually using a Happy Planner system for a couple of different things and I have their gray linen soft cover but it is still kind of hard um, which I love this cover. I just absolutely love it and then I've got the gray ring discs which I wasn't sure how I would like these but I really do like them. Um, they are metal and they're just super nice. So I just love how this is looking and I just have a couple of things in here I want to grab. I did make these leftovers and dinner out stickers. So I want to grab those. So I'm going to go to the October section. So we have the currently page and then we also have the monthly view. I am using an undated teacher planner. So this is what the layout looks like and I just dated oh, across the top and then each of these rows is a special category. So the planner actually came with the months. I'm going to go ahead and just put the October stickers on the tab. And when I first started planning back in 2018, I actually started um, with a happy planner and the happy happy planner system and I loved the flexibility of it and then I just kind of left it because I was buying all the things and I didn't need all the things and so just kind of needed to take a break from it for a while but I do still love just the flexibility of a disc system all right so I've got that labeled. I'm just going to put that off to the side. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the currently page. They call this the currently page because back when they first started, they had like sections where you could write what you were currently eating and loving and writing and watching and all of those different categories. But now they kind of have opened it up. So it's just an open space where you can do what you want to do with it. So I'm actually going to use their detailed florals sticker book and I'm going to use these purple flowers in here. So we will see how this goes. I'm not really exactly sure how this is going to go, but I'm just going to start with putting this big one here and I'm going to cut it. Like this. And just lay this down and have that going off the page and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this part up here and cut this off and I'll stick that back in there in case I want to use it just to kind of give me a jumping off spot so on the currently page in September. I started using this planner in September. So in September, I use this to track a couple of different things. So the first thing that I want to track is like my stats. So right now I am counting calories and protein and then I'm tracking and then I have a water goal that I will have for the month. So I'm going to use these circle stickers to track this. So that can be the calories for the month and then we can have the protein and then my water goal for the month just kind of layer those on there and then i want a place to track like my starting weight and my ending weight because this is kind of like a wellness planner too I'm just gonna put this down here and then I can put that in there. I kind of want to find a quote but this book doesn't really have a lot of quotes. So I'm gonna grab my binder with all my quotes. All right so I have this mini binder that has a lot of the quotes because when I kind of stopped using the happy planner I went through all of my sticker books and I just kind of pulled the quotes and I have them sorted by color. So we have some black ones. So 
So I like this big one that says fresh start because, you know, with my journey, kind of weight loss journey, wellness journey, journey, sometimes the months aren't, I feel like the months aren't great. And so I just want to remind myself that every month, every day, every week is a fresh start. You can start fresh on your goals. And so I really like having that there. So in this top area, I am going to put my goals for the month. So I'm going to leave the focus on there and just have that checklist so I can write down some goals. I may not have that many goals. And then I do need something to cover up this. So I'm going to Y out the ends of this. And then it says you are capable of amazing things. It's just another great reminder um, to help keep me motivated throughout the month. So in this section, I just like to put down what I spend on groceries just so I can have a way to track it. And so actually, Gonna alternate the colors, bring in this light blue color from the flowers. And that's kind of all I'm going to do for this page. Um, just a quick page to kind of track a couple of things throughout the month. So I'm just going to pop this back in and then I'm going to pull out the monthly. So I do need to date this. So I'm gonna pull this sheet of number stickers. I actually got these at Orange Umbrella Company. And I have some clear ones and some white matte ones. So I have these stickers. These are actually in my shop now. And I have some other scripts in this same font. So I'm just gonna put October there and then I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly date this Alright, so this is all dated. I am going to add a just a little bit of decoration. Um, probably going to add some of those purple flowers again just to keep it consistent with the currently page. I'm just going to bring these up the page. And then I'll cut these off. And then just to have some on this side. And then cut this off.
Okay. And then put some here. I'm going to bring this up and just layer it on top so the O is on top of the flower. So it just kind of looks like they were printed on the page. And then I'm going to take and try to cut that around the circle. Wow, I actually did that. I did not think I was going to do that as well as I did. I'm usually horrible at cutting stuff like that. All right, so now that this is just kind of framed, it's time to put in the meal plan. Since I don't really use a lot of stickers on my monthly, that's kind of why I like to decorate the sides of it. I do, we do plan for dinner out on Saturdays. So I do have stickers, went ahead and made myself some stickers for these. I just don't plan to cook anything for Saturdays because if we're going to eat out like with family or friends or something, it's most likely going to be Saturday. So I grabbed two paper mate flares. I have the purple one and the green one. Um, it's dark green to go ahead and write everything in. I just think it goes really well with the flowers. So I'm just going to start with the green and then on the first we are doing a pork chops Florentine. And some of these are new to us recipes and some of these are not. So then we'll plan on dinner out on the second and then we'll do a country style ribs on the third. So I typically like to do something on Sundays that it's either really easy or I can just throw it in the crock pot or the instant pot because I meal prep a lot on Sundays. So I don't want to like have to cook something um, else. So usually I'll just do something I can throw in the crock pot or it's super easy. So on the fourth, we are doing honey mustard chicken thighs. On the fifth, we are doing meatball stir fry. I picked up some chicken meatballs at Aldi that looked really good. And so I kind of wanted to do something other than like the spaghetti and meatballs that we usually do. And I like to alternate the colors just so they're not a lot of colors <laughs> right there together. On the sixth, we are having a Mexican casserole. This is a really good recipe. It's like basically a Mexican lasagna. And it's something that I can make ahead of time. And then on the seventh, we are doing chicken and rice. And then we're doing basil, parmesan, salmon. And we do this in the air fryer. Super good and easy. actually should have done purple there, but oh well. Um, <laughs> the 10th, we're doing a honey balsamic pork roast. I made this this month with a beef roast and it was so good. And so I want to try it with a pork roast. And then on this Monday, we will do beef and broccoli. This is one of our favorite meals. We usually do it in the Instant Pot, but I may try it in the slow cooker this month. And then shrimp tacos. 
My husband loves tacos. It's funny. I love Mexican food, like eating Mexican out, but he's not a super fan like me. But as far as like homemade Mexican, like homemade tacos and stuff, he loves it. So when I asked him what he wanted to have for dinner in October, he said tacos every night. <laughs> so, and then on the 13th, we are having, we are planning on having instant pot ZT. So we've had that before and it's really good. And this isn't a set in stone meal plan. So what I will do is each week I will look at this. And if I'm just not in the mood for something, then I just don't cook that. So this night we're going to have honey garlic chicken. And this is one of those things you can do, actually do that with chicken, shrimp, pork, pretty much anything. And then on Sunday, we will have tacos. And then we will have a shrimp stir fry. We like doing a lot of stir fries and things like that because it's a really good way for us to get our protein, vegetables, and carb in. And then chicken fajitas. So it's gonna be kind of a Mexican time, but that's okay. And then we have Italian chicken. And then air fryer tilapia. We have like a whole bag of tilapia and I struggle with finding recipes for tilapia and figuring out different ways to make it. So if you like tilapia, let me know down below what your favorite way to make it is. And then here we will do a chicken sausage and shrimp. Again, another super easy recipe. We just put chicken sausage, shrimp, and a bunch of vegetables in the air fryer, cook those, and ready to go. And then we can make, if we wanna have like rice to go with it, we can do that. And then here I'm going to do a honey Dijon pork roast. Now, I'm only putting one thing in this box. Number one, I don't really have room for anything else. But this is also Halloween. And so I don't know what we're going to be doing for Halloween. But we may end up just spending it with family or anything. So I'm not planning on anything this night. And then I want to do chicken stir fry. And then we'll do herb crusted salmon. And then here we'll do instant pot Italian chicken pasta. A long one, and then we'll do beef tips and gravy. And then we'll do a slow cooker tortellini. So that's everything for the month. So I'm just going to pop this back on the discs. So this gives us a plan for the month. Like I said, this is not set in stone. When we went make the weekly meal plan, you know, if we end up having meatball stir fry on Monday instead of Tuesday, that's not as big of a deal for us. It gives us a plan going into the month. So now when I go and do my monthly Sam's trip, I can actually say, okay, well, this is what I have planned. So it gives us a plan. So we're not over buying meat, but we are buying enough to last us for the month because we don't like to buy meat throughout the month. So each week I'll take a look at it 
and then narrow down the meal plan, make the shopping list, and we'll shop for what we don't have on hand for the week. So this is my October meal plan. Let me know down below how you meal plan or if you meal plan at all. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you have already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day.